Our objective today is to ride every single ride here at Disneyland. Hi friends, we are temporarily down right now. Could you pick with us a little later in the day, please? It takes, how fast? How fast do you think we can get? To? Ooh, that's such a risk. Run. But we're looking to get the best time. We're not looking to settle. We do have limited capacity, so you guys may be waiting a long time to board a train. That's just all we've been doing is riding rides, ride to ride to ride to ride. The only time we have break from a ride is in the line and walking in between. Good morning, my name is Steven. We're back here at Disneyland. That's right, we're here for the grand reopening. And our objective today is to ride every single ride here at Disneyland. We're gonna time, see how long it takes, and get it done as quick as possible. That means there's no sitting down, there's no meal breaks. We're just gonna keep going every ride as fast as we can. What a great day. It sounds like a great day. It's gonna be a mess. We're opening, it's crazy. Everyone is excited. There is so much cheer in the air. How long is it gonna take to ride every ride? Or is it even possible? Let's find out. Hi friends, we are temporarily down right now. Could you pick with us a little later in the day, please? So there we go. We, our first ride was going to be Indiana Jones. Obviously it didn't work, so we're on to the next one. Our first thought is to hop in the queue for Splash Mountain. It's only a five minute wait later in the day. When it's really hot, the queue will probably start to spike up a lot. That's two of our rides out of the way. Now we'll be doing Smuggler's Run. Good luck to you all. You might need it. Today's flight takes you to the planet Corellia. Wait, I'm not hitting We need to defend ourselves. How am I not hitting things? Is it open? Awesome. Watch your step come in board. Howdy, folks. Welcome. Watch your step, dude. We just finished up Smuggler's Run. Came over to go on Thunder Mountain. It was uh, closed. Luck was semi on our side. Mark Twain was in port, so we just hopped on. So we might as well do it now instead of waiting for it to come back all the way around. We got like the best timing for it. So it actually ended up working out well for us. Got off on the Mark Twain. Thunder Mountain just opened up. So uh, we hopped right on. Worked out. Actually, worked out really well. That's another land complete. We got Frontierland. We're now moving on to Fantasyland, which has a lot of rides. We'll see how Fantasyland works, and we'll see how Snow White is looking, because I uh, hear that one's gonna be a tough one. Speaking of a tough one, there it is right there. There's the uh, entrance to Snow White. So we're kicking off Fantasyland with Snow White, which is the line, is <laughs> all the way out to Main Street. I'll take it. 30 minute wait, it was. And uh, on to our next ride, Pinocchio. A lot of the Fantasyland rides are right now like five minute walk on waits. So we're just gonna be doing all those right now. So quick montage starting now. We're on Dumbo right now. We've done a few rides. We've done Pinocchio, Casey, Toads, Peter. Uh, we're getting through Fantasyland pretty quickly. It's about 11.45 and we're gonna be attempting to get Rise of the Resistance boarding passes in about 10 minutes. We did not get it at 7 a.m. They went like that. They were gone. I didn't even have a chance to get it, but we have our second chance and hopefully we get it. Anyways, we're just gonna enjoy out the ride flying on Dumbo. It's 11.59. We're gonna attempt for our boarding passes on the second, uh, you know, second round. Uh, we're about to go into Carousel, so if this, if this missed times really badly, and we're getting on the ride, this could be really bad. Go, 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 go. We got it. Let's go! <laughs> Alright, and we get to go on the Carousel. We didn't have to worry about it. Yeah, perfect timing. Perfect timing. This is not for my enjoyment, this is for the video. This is purely for you. So uh, make sure you leave a like. Comment down below if you've ever ridden every single ride in Disneyland and how long that took you. Because I'm curious to see what other people have done and what they've found. Anyways, the ride's finishing up, so we're going back to the video. But right now, three hours in, we're still feeling really good. We're not starving, we're staying hydrated, we're you know keeping our spirits up, so it's going pretty good so far. Yeah, we're about to hop on Small World right now, and it's almost 12.30, and it's looking pretty good. 
that's it right there fantasy land that's all the fantasy land rides completed and now it's on to a new land so we are on to our next land two rides here gadget go coaster and roger rabbit's cartoon spin we're looking to knock both these out as fast as possible yeah roger rabbit's gonna be our first one that's a five minute wait pretty much like walk on if it's a five minute wait oh yeah it's basically a walk on yeah that's perfect that's exactly what we need pirates is 50 indiana jones is 50 and so is haunted if it's gonna stay like that we gotta make up time with these short rides of like five minute queues we walk on right away. Brian, I hate this ride. It is spinning around, but it's all for the speed run. Get all the rides done. All right, we're just walking out of Roger Rabbit. Now we're on to Gadget Go Coaster. This is it. We're finishing up Toontown right here. That was a 15 minute run. We just got off of Gadget and from It's a Small World to when we finished Gadget Go Coaster, that was 14 minutes and three seconds. I think that's a pretty solid time for Toontown. That's it for this land. Another land down. We're gonna move on to the train. So there's a slight change of plans. There's only one train running and it just left and we didn't get on that train. So it's gonna do a full loop before we can hop on the train again. That is not worth the wait. So we're gonna walk over to another station, depending how long it takes. How fast? Ooh, that's such a risk. Run. <laughs> that's such a risk, because what if the other station's busy? Yeah. That's a half I mean, an hour. Now we're already waiting, walking. <laughs> we're already committed. We have all the way from the time that it takes to leave Toontown, all the way over around to Main Street. That's about half the loop. We'll have a little bit of time because it'll take some time for boarding, but I don't know if that's enough time, but we're gonna take that gambit because if it works, this is the greatest idea ever. If it doesn't, that's an absolute waste of time and it could be a run killer. But we're looking to get the best time. We're not looking to settle. So that's why we're gonna take this, we're to take this gambit. We have to take it. Right now, folks, right now trains are arriving every 25 minutes. So we have we do have limited capacity. So you guys may be waiting a long time to board a train. Okay. The gambit did not pay off. The train just arrived in the station. We would have made it if there was uh, room for it, unfortunately. There's a long line at the station and getting on is zero to none. We're gonna try to do Tomorrowland as fast as physically possible and get on the train right before it closes at three. If we could do that, that'll work perfectly. This is all a risk, we gotta go quick. So first ride of Tomorrowland is going to be Astro Orbiter. We're in Star Tours, we waited so far like 15 minutes maybe. This one's taking a little bit longer than we want, but that's okay, it is what it is. That's the name of the game. What are we going on right now? Perfect timing, let's go. Hold it right there, Captain. Er, I'm not actually the Captain. We're looking for this rebel spot. We just cut off Star Tours, now we're going on to space, which is gonna be 30 minute wait. We have to take it, we have no other choice. Um, hopefully this all works out. What are you expecting, video of the Space Mountain ride? You wanna know what it looks like? It's just pitch black. And that was Space Mountain. It ended up being a 20 minute wait instead of a 30. Thank God for that. On to the next one. All right, we're at a crossroads right now. We have a chance to possibly do the train, but if we do the train, when we put out of position, all we have is one more ride in Tomorrowland, and that's Autopia. And it should be a walk on, so we walk on, drive as fast as we can, get through, get off, and get on the train. You know, we'll take the train from here to Frontierland, and that would be it. That would count as our train ride, and then we'd be in the next land ready to go. But the only problem is, do we get on Autopia and get off before the train closes? That's the question here today. And it's empty. Actually, there's no one even in it. Maybe the train's already closed. And if the train is already closed, then there's no hope in the train. But it should close at three. Disney's weird though, maybe they'll close early. And if that's the case, then that's a major bummer. That's the train they're backing it in right now. Oh. So it is, we missed it then. It is, that's it. Excuse me, is that the final train? Is the train closed now? Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think he, he understood what we asked for. <laughs> the train closed about 40 minutes before. It stated that it wasn't closed. It's supposed to close at three. It closed at like two. And I'm a little mad about that. End of the time that you have posted, please. I do appreciate that, Disney. We finished up Tomorrowland. That is it. That is all we have on the land. We're looking to finish up New Orleans and Adventureland. That entails Indiana Jones, Pirates of the Caribbean, Haunted Mansion. And of course, we are waiting on our Rise of the Resistance boarding passes. And once we do that, all four of those rides, we will have completed 
rated every single ride at Disneyland, with the exception of the train. But I think it still counts. Technically, the train is not a ride. <laughs> You're right, AP. Technically, the train is not a ride. It was just something that we wanted to get as well. But alas, it's not going to work out. We're writing the rules, so you don't have to. We did it, we're on Indy, and it's also really dark, so I'm gonna record a little bit. We'll see, I don't know. You know if it shows up, I don't. Here we go. Next time, you're on your own. So we just finished up Indiana Jones, then that completes Adventureland. We are now only two lands away. The Pirates is gonna be about a 40 minute wait. It's definitely a lot shorter than that, so we hopped in. Thankfully, it's shorter, so it's gonna work. So let's do Pirates. Oh, what a team. Oh my god. So that was like a 15 minute loss. We got right up the gate. The ride broke down, I think. What a tease. What a tease. And uh, yeah. Now we're finally going. So that's 15 minutes lost, but that's okay. We'll uh, make it up somehow. Our boarding queue popped hole around Pirates of the Caribbean. We got to do Rise of Resistance, and then one more ride after that, which is Haunted Mansion, as I mentioned before. Then we have all the rides in Disneyland done. We're almost there. I can see the light, and we're going to make that last push to get those last two rides. Skip is now under the direct control of the First Order. This is Buster Boss! Why are you going up? I said down, up is back! There it is, our last ride of the day. Just finished rise, all we have to do is a 40 minute wait. Nothing we can do about it. No other rides, no alternatives to do. But this is the last one. So we will sit here in this line until we get on. As we get closer and closer to getting into Haunted, um, they're just becoming <laughs> less and less of achievement and more and more of I just want to be done. And go eat and just sit down for longer than two minutes. Every ride at Disney is a tough challenge, especially when you want to do it as fast as possible because sometimes you get really unlucky, like we have thus far. Things have not gone our way, didn't go as planned, but that's okay. We're still trying to push through, and we're almost there. And once we get off, I honestly, a churro sounds great. A anything sounds great, actually. We haven't had anything at all. The timer stops once we're off this attraction. So that means off the ride, out the door, and up the es escalators or whatever. How many here? Two. Two, and then I'm having things right on the circle just ahead, please. Awesome, thank you. Actually, I'm starting to get a little bit more excited because we're getting closer. The energy is coming back, AP. Literally, when she asked me, how many people? Two. Energy. Two. Just a blast of energy. Two. I'm ready for it. I don't want to say it. I don't want to jinx anything. Because <laughs> I don't want it to work out. And Breaks like, so yeah, I don't want another breakdown. So. Playful spooks have interrupted our tour. Please no. remain seated in your doom buggy. We will proceed in just a moment. Oh my gosh, we're so close. We're so close. I doubt you can see me, we're so close. It's just slowing down, come on. Playful spooks have interrupted our tour. Please remain seated in your doom buggy. I don't know. We will can... proceed in just a moment. I don't know if you can see my face, but it's just pure disappointment. We're so close. So close. This is the worst luck we could have gotten twice. And right at the exit, we're right there at the exit. All we have to do is a little more. There's so much lost time. It's unbelievable. We will proceed. We're done, we did it. Every single ride in Disneyland, eight hours and 40 minutes. It could definitely be approved on and there will be a time where I come back and do better. We spent our first day back in Disneyland riding every single ride and not caring about anything else. Just the rides, not the experience, not the characters, not the dining. Do I regret it? Maybe a little bit. I am super exhausted. My arm's really tired. Don't have enough energy. I'm just now trudging towards the exit because we've done it. That's it. We took a small break, drank some water, sat down for a little bit, you know, actually sat at a chair and rested. We're gonna make the hike all the way back through the tram route. We're here at Disney opening and we're leaving early. Like, so what, you rode all the rides, so what, you're tired. Stay and enjoy the last few hours, but can't do that because I want to get this video and other videos out to you as soon as possible. 
And plus, yes, I am actually really tired. But we actually did it. Could it be faster? Yes, it definitely can be faster. We will do it faster next time and we will improve. But for our first go, we had some bad luck, had some good luck, and balanced out eight hours and 40 minutes. And we we're gonna go and enjoy a nice dinner, maybe steak or something. I feel like it's been earned. So as always, this isn't a goodbye, but just, I'll see you real soon. Bye. Bye, Mickey. I just went on every single ride. Are you proud of me? Mickey's proud, that's all that matters. I'm going home. <laughs> right?